All right, guys, another beautiful weekend at the lake. Spending with the family and had a little issue with the camper. And I just wanna let you know how I uh, fixed it. Called a couple of the uh, RV repair shops and dealers around here. And uh, they pretty much said uh, good luck with that. So, and the first thing they asked when I told them my problem, they said, do you own a Keystone? And I was like, yes I do. And they said, well this is a common problem and all I can tell you is good luck with it. So, I'm gonna show you how I went about fixing the gate valve for the gray water tank. Out back by Keystone, it's kind of faded there, you can't see it, but there you go. This is a 2008 from what I understand all of the Keystones, or almost all of them, have this issue. It is... Oh God, get my fat butt under here. I don't know if we'll be able to see this or not. But, okay. That's your black tank gate valve. Okay, and then that one's working all right. And then that's the tank back there. And then right here, they do a Y. And then there's the one I had to replace, the gate valve, which, and then the tank is right over there. So the guy told me, he says, this is a common problem, because I could not get this out. There was like, I mean, I was struggling as hard as I could and couldn't get it out. And I'm like, what is going on? Most of the ones I watched, which were different campers, they all had plenty of wiggle room to get those in and out. Well, apparently Keystones do not. And then, uh, that's the gray tank. He said, well, sometimes there's a, a bracket that holds it up on the other side that you could unbolt. But he said another common thing that Keystone does is they weld that bracket. Well, lucky me, they uh, welded it. So I could not move the tank over at all. So, what I decided to do is I cut about an inch or so out of the pipe, of the three inch pipe there, and then I went and got a three inch boot. That way I can slide it in and out, and I was able to get that in with no problem at all. Because I tried it several times because I didn't want to cut it to get that in but I could not get that in with the gaskets I tried it about four or five times and it continued to leak it is so tight that it just continued to keep leaking and I, I got frustrated so I got the bright idea that I'm gonna cut about an inch or so out of the pipe and I'm gonna get a three inch boot and that way I have plenty of wiggle room to do it in the future if something happens and uh, there you go. If you like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. All right.